Hello, welcome to my latest video on uh, the power needed to win a classic. So the classic I've chosen is the Three Days of Japana. Uh, the reason it is, well, one, I was there, but the main reason is just because it's a good indicator because it's the week before Flanders, so you can see what power people are doing, and yeah. And also Philippe Gilbert won it, and you can see it's power data. So here we go, We've just they're just on the cobbles in Gerard's Bergen. So quick step man, just about to fall off. And here comes Gilbert. There's a group about 20, it got split up. So there we go, 9.1%, 20% maximum. Uh, so yeah, they turn left, past here, past a couple of cafes. And yeah, it's pretty cobbly, like they try and avoid it as much as possible. Gilbert's on the pavement. You can see Derbe just straight on his wheel. But anyway, Gilbert's absolutely hammering it. I was trying to get the power data on, but I couldn't seem to work out the strawberry API and whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, I couldn't do it. Hopefully I will be able to do it soon. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Philippe Gilbert on the front, just absolutely driving it. Trying to save as much energy as possible. The sort of numbers he's doing are quite incredible, and we'll look into that later. But I think this is just a good indication of like how uh, the power that they need, if you just watch the video first. Like, people, <laughs> the Team Joker guys just crying at the back, being like, how hard is this bloke going? Because Gilbert's absolutely tearing the new one. Look, everyone, everyone's fallen off. It's just Durbridge and Gilbert. And look at Gilbert, still in the big ring, absolutely flying up the sky. It's, it's not too hard at the moment. It's about probably 5%. Ramps up to maybe 8 But the last part, so they turn the corner just right here. And you can see Gilbert is trying. He's, he's riding pretty mentally on the pavement. I'm not really sure. I think on Flanders it was, it was they sort of got rid of it, or they put barriers on the side. But anyway, here he goes past these garages. This is when it starts to really, you know, bite up quite a lot. Um, but it's still not, still not mental. It's when it gets really narrow and the cobbles get a bit thicker. And I remember on my bike being like, it's pretty hard. But they're absolutely motoring compared to the speeds I was doing. They're absolutely flying up it. Just numbers, incredible numbers. But look, almost hits the barrier, and I was just flying up. Goes past the favourite wanty bloke. Biggest fan in Europe, the one to group go there, man. What a legend. See him at every race. So here he is. It's when the cobbles really start to get up. He's just absolutely powering along. Look at it. He digs in, and this is when he does his big attack. Out the saddle, just smashing it. Here he goes. Durbridge is not giving up. He still thinks, because if he gets over the top, he thinks he might might be able to might be able to catch back on. But unfortunately, Philippe Gilbert was in a very good good form today and uh well not today but when he did the race so here they go past the drunken belgian fans in the pub <laughs> round the corner and here comes the real steep part you can see a nice helicopter i was like to the left by the church watching the lads and Philippe Gilbert's just last last effort six seven hundred watts over the top and now it's downhill on and flat all the way to the finish um Durbridge isn't too far behind but you can see the speed at the end like Gilbert's attacking over the top and Durbridge is just hanging on but look at the look at the chaos that Gilbert has left behind. It's just just people all over the road. I remember watching it, it was like Gilbert gone and everyone else was just struggling to sort of catch up. Uh, so yeah, let's go look at his Strava data just now. So three days of the Pana, first stage and he wins it. So 210k, decent out, decent outing for the lads. Four, four, four hours forty, not super long for them, but a good, good day nonetheless. Decent power, fourteen hundred watts, max power, and um, the weight is three fifteen. I'd say not much, be more like three forty, three fifty probably. So you know, good outing on the day. And as we can see, we have the little mule van Gerritsbergen. So anyway, he did it in two forty eight. I'm not gonna lie, my time is quite bad. <laughs> Twelve K an hour bloody I did have a chain fall off excuses, excuses. Anyway, right, so big Philly five hundred and forty watts. Okay, his heart rate's wrong. I'm, his heart rate like messed up, but five hundred and forty watts is, is insane. Like it's just crazy. So as you can see none of these are actually done in Flanders, I don't think. These are all these all were bank banks, and that was in three years of power because they didn't in Flanders, but I think it was too early, or maybe no one recorded who went with it. Oh yeah, these are Christoph and Demar actually, but no power obviously. But anyway, you can see they've uh, they hit some very good numbers. So if we zoom in to this here, we can see 538 watts. So if we do an analysis, beginning you know nine, it's good good speed here, but we can see. 
just when he rounds the corner. So if we zoom in, zoom in. so this is the corner. So that was the corner they went past. They then went. This is where he dropped it, basically on this part here, which is where it really spikes up. So do a bit of. No, no. Need to zoom out the whole page. Sorry about this. There we go. Um, so you can see it just at that part here. So yeah, so here he had a little spike up, and then here, this is the part where he drops um, Durbridge. Sorry, sorry, I forgot his name. Durbridge. The little peak here, seven fifty, seven six hundred, seven hundred. Then he goes around, he drops it down a little bit because it gets to flat, and then just ramps it up to the very final part and attacks over the top. So if we take the whole segment, which should be, oh, on, I've lost it, disaster. Uh, right, let's go try and find it. There'll be this one, sorry. So you can see he's, uh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. So then, just the last part, he put in the little attack over the top, dropped it down. When he, sorry, dropped Durbridge, dropped it down, and then attack over the top, and then he's basically into his descent, 60, 70 k's an hour. If we look at the end, the end part, you'd think he had one more climb, but he's basically average speed 43 k's an hour, and he's sort of hitting. We try and choose the flattest part after the climb down here, sort of doing this part here, 380 watts. So that's basically what you have to do, smash it up to 540, then hold it at 380. Anyway, so we have his weight, which is pretty exciting, uh, 67 kilos, so chuck in the old calculator, eh? 540 divided by 68, and you can see the watt, watts per kilo, 7.9 watts per kilo. So that is very respectable. So 8 watts per kilo for basically 2 mins, uh, two, well, almost 3 mins actually. Hold that and basically do that all day. So I'd say the classics, got to have very good VO2 power, obviously, good anaerobic power. You also have to have in incredible endurance at the same time. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Sorry I couldn't do the power overlay on the video. I'm working on that. Hopefully hopefully I'll get my coding up to scratch and be able to extract the data of the pros. But uh, thanks for watching. And see ya.